it's an interesting challenge to ensure that IT keeps pace with the scientists. Um, we do. We try and do it in a variety of ways. I mean, the main thing is talking to them. So we collaborate very closely with our scientists. We have a specific steering group, our scientific computing steering group, where we meet with a number of the scientists on a monthly basis and we talk about what's coming through. We have a, a governance process for actually um, doing resource allocation and so on so that we can understand what's happening. But it is a challenge. Uh, science is moving at such a rate. We were told recently by one of the scientists that he was interested in buying a new microscope and that was capable of generating five petabytes of data a week. Now, given that our total storage is 10 petabytes, which is already considered a lot by a lot of organisations, this would have filled it up in two weeks flat. Now, fortunately, the manufacturer realised that this was not going to be a viable proposition for most organisations, so they, they've gone back to the drawing board. But um, we have kit on site, uh, we have our cryo-electron microscopes that each generate about two terabytes of data a night. So it's, uh, yeah, we, we can, the CRIC as a whole at the moment has a baseline data generation capability from instruments of about 20 terabytes a day. So keeping pace with that, I mean, we, we can at the moment, but we do have to make sure that we are constantly in the loop with the scientists about what they're planning to buy and where science is going and where, where the next thing is going to be. But yeah, that, that's a big driver.